Have you ever just looked at your Gunpla collection and thought, God damn it, I wish they were more mysterious, more dynamic. Well, now they can be with this absolutely awesome 30-minute mission set of capes and cloaks. And you might be thinking, well, I could just scratch build my own cloak just like this. Well, you could. You could. Or you could just head on over to Hobby Link and grab one of these. This is the option part set 14, multi-cloth. Now let's take a quick look and make some pla dynamic and mysterious. So anyway, this is the box right here. Again, it is option part set 14, multi-cloth. And this came out, I think, last week, maybe the week before. And as usual, we're going to see how well these particular 30-minute missions parts work with Gunpla. Now, these remind me of some particular Gundams. For example, like the Crossbone, where it has the kind of beam protection cloak cloth thing and the way we've got the Exia repair which also has a bit of a cloth over its broken arm these obviously work with bandai's 30 minute missions like the acer b ride here this looks like a spinatia right here so i'll work with that spinatio so it seems to be more slender kits by bandai so will it work with more bulky gundams we're gonna find out so inside of the first bag right here, we've got some big clothy bits. These are quite large. If I actually grab a high grade Gundam, these are, well, well, I suppose they'd have to be about the size of the Gundam at least, come down low enough. So this looks like it's got some major potential. The next bunch of parts that we have in here, these have a little bit of a kind of scarf section like so, a bunch of different kind of attachment points, including these which look like they attach onto some shoulder pegs. We've got some scarf sections here. Obviously, these are the parts that billow away. Hopefully, these will be quite compatible across the lines. Finally, then, in the last packet, then, we've got these guys right here. These look like smaller little tattered parts. You might be able to layer up on each other. So, I guess we will be seeing very soon. So, getting right on into the build, I'm going to be doing this the way I do all of these kind of 30-minute missions things. I'm going to be snipping them off in one snip with the god hand. So, if there is any knobs, you're going to see the knobs. And I'm building it exactly the way it says to in the manual. So, I'm going to see if there's anything you can change around a little bit later on. But as for right Right now, we've got one piece attached into this cloth. It attached on via a ball joint and a three millimeter peg, so I can go side to side, up and down, and rotate just like so. Let's get the rest on. So continuing throughout the build with this, it's very simple. It just layers up piece after piece after piece. We've got six little ball jointable, attachable bits that attach onto it, and they all follow each other's kind of lines perfectly in a way that kind of makes it look like one whole piece if you didn't realize those moving parts here. Now there are two little bits for using in the kind of shoulder zone but these are thought out to be used with Acerby only or maybe the 30 minute sisters because of the way you need those kind of little shoulder joints like the ones you're seeing right here. Maybe we can somehow make these work with a ball joint in the shoulder like a broken shoulder but we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try it with this kit first. This is the Beyond Global. While actually moving around the mic, I nearly knocked this off the shelf behind me. So I think uh, Exe is asking for a go as well to see if I can make an Exe repair out of it. But anyway, starting with the RX-78 II. Okay, popping off the head to see if it'll fit. Now this probably isn't the greatest choice around, being a very atypical kind of Gundam. Uh, the front seems to be this side with the wind-blown part. And oh, so far, yeah, this is not going to work with the backpack on anyway. So the backpack has to come off, it's quite narrow, but then again, you won't even notice if the backpack is on or not with this on. And let's see, popping that on, oh, it still does not, oh, 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 potentially, a bit of a squeeze, is it gonna work? Yeah, not just out of box, it's not gonna fit per se, just balance the head on, you can tell it's way, way not right. But, uh, yeah, that's not working out. The torso in there is just way, way too wide for the little bit of space inside of that. So, sadly, this kit right here, not compatible. Let's try the Exia. All right, so trying out the Exia next. It's got a really short little neck peg, so I don't see this working out either. Open that up as much as possible. Throw it over and, yeah, not even close. This looks like it's going to be one 30-minute mission, so that's not going to be working with your high-grade Gunpla, sadly. So how about one of these ghost-looking little bits that's meant to pop up on the Acerby's shoulder? Now, that looks a little bit too wide for your average shoulder ball joint, and wait a minute, they go the opposite way entirely, so that's not gonna work. You'd need some kind of double ball joint kind of thing, and you'd only get the saddest little bit of a 
drape right there. I guess it might keep the rain off. But yeah, straight out of box, the first kind of cloth cloak thingamajiggy does not fit. Not at all. And seem to have stolen one of Exia's thingamabits. So all is not lost just yet. We do have a little bit of a scarf to go as well as some more cloak that looks a little bit like this. So let's see what we can try out with this stuff. So next up in here, we've got a kind of scarf or I guess, well, that's all you could really call it. Basically, this is made out of a bunch of parts and we do have an option in here. You can attach two together for a shorter two scarf kind of look or you can attach on one longer one for a longer scarf look. This is what it looks like and it's kind of ninja-y kind of vibe. It means I think it'll go a little bit nicely with the Kameki bur- I keep calling it the Kameki, the Shin Burning Gundam. So first off, just popping off the backpack just like so. Will it fit? That is the ultimate question. So this should fit down over the head. But yeah, once again, this is ex he's kind of blindfolded by it. Yeah, this doesn't seem to rest down over Gundam kits at all. This would definitely have to be cut out or modified to some degree to actually fit, but this is one of those particular 30 minute missions kits that doesn't seem to work with Gunpla. But yeah, like I mentioned, we've got two options here, so pop off that one, and this is the longer one, but sadly, once again, will not be working with Gundam model kits, and on to the last thing that we have in here. Hold on, a potential chance. We do have a different sized one of these, which is for use in with a larger 30 minute missions kit, being the Spinatia. It's not a lot larger, but it is another chance that this might fit onto the Gundam. Let's check and see. All right, so I'm gonna be trying the longer one this time, so just popping that off. Now I've totally forgotten which is which. Oh, I think we're on the bigger one, or are we on the smaller one? I'm confused. Seeing as I don't know which is which, I got confused. Let's try again. So this smaller one seems to be the new one. It's getting a little bit caught on the V-fin right there, so popping that off. Yeah, that just rests too high. Pushing the shoulders a bit. Mm, almost, almost has some potential here. Let's throw the little bit round back. Bring the shoulders down a little bit. Pull it down. I think with a little bit of modification and not a whole lot, you might be able to get something that looks kind of cool that will fit on the Shin Burning Gundam like this right here. You will need to use something to actually attach it on, but if you're going to be using it in a custom project where you will be cutting parts out, this one might actually work. This one has potential out of them all. Well, that we've saw so far. On to the next one. So last up in here, we've got the biggest cloak of them all. So that means we may have the biggest potential of it working. This comes with a side part to side part and a back part. Now let's get them cut out. So once again, just cutting them out as it says in the manual, putting them together exactly the way they are in the manual. I saw something a little bit interesting that might work out for us here, but I guess we're going to find out. So this is the sort of connections that we have this time around. They clip in the top onto the little kind of, well, onto these kind of sections right here on a joint on a 30 minute missions, which these kits, or should I say Gunpla, don't seem to have, but this one doesn't. Let's try it some other ones. So grabbing the recent gym that came out, this looks like it has a little bit of space in there that we might be able to use to clip these on. Just get that arm off and let's see if that fits. It looks like it might clip if it could actually reach around, but yeah, that is not gonna happen. Once again, not going to work with Gunpla, sadly. That's a little bit of a shock. So we do have this little adapter segment right here, which is quite interesting. It is a backpack adapter. Oh, well, of all the Gunpla to pick, I picked the one that doesn't have the standard backpack adapter. Okay, get another one. I feel like I'm somewhat safe with the Beyond Global here. Wait until you see. That is not, oh, come on. All right, just grab this from beside me. This is the Strike Dagger, I think. This has to have the, oh, I'm not even making jokes out of this anymore. This just happens oh okay i know for definite ariel has the standard backpack adapter so get that shield out of the way let's get that back pack removed there is the standard adapter right there so what this does is it attaches in just like so and then we've got a ball joint this could be used for a whole lot of different things but what we're going to do in here is use it to attach on this little segment right here this little cloak so if you ever wanted a cape on your aerial, at least this would work. So if you've got a standard Gundam with a standard Gundam backpack adapter, you've got a cape. Paint it whatever color you want, and there you go, cape. 
Not really as cool, mysterious, and dynamic as I was hoping to see in this review. I was hoping to see a little bit more attached arm, but one thing I did see in here is that we have other ball joint adapters for attaching this thing onto different backpacks. That being a standard peg and a peg at a little bit of an angle. So what I was wondering is, what are the shoulder joints like in comparison to these? Are you actually able to pop one of these into, oh, now we've got a little bit of potential that fit like a glove. These little bits right here, these are three millimeter pegs, so that does mean we could pop that in. It's not actually fit fitting deep enough, it's a little too low, but we do have one that's at a tiny little bit of an angle in here. So that brings it down a little bit lower, and let's see, will this one work out? At oh, yes it does. It's not entirely perfect, but does give you a little bit of an exio repair kind of feel to it. Maybe if I use the one that's meant to be on the other arm, it might come a little bit more forward and not as much behind. Maybe you can kind of angle that a bit more. So there you go, like you've got a busted arm just kind of covered by a cape. As for these little guys right here, these do have a bigger little sockety section so that won't fit on. I still have the other one around back there, so maybe we can pop the back one on a little bit like this, and that actually lines up quite nicely. So you've got yourself a little bit of something. Come on, let's keep on building and see if we can get something out of it. What? How does this fit? How does? Oh, that's not too bad on the aerial. I think we might be getting a little bit of something here. Finally, we might be getting a little bit of a mysterious stranger Gundam out of this. And we do have this little bit of a slot round back. We can add another little piece. Actually, that's oh, not send it, that's sending it a little bit haywire. A little bit. But you can see, you can kind of layer it up a little bit. Now I kind of want to just, now I kind of just want to check out this right here. If there's anything we can kind of harness from this. These are three millimeter pegs as well. But I don't think there's really anything we can add onto what we have right now to make it look a little bit better. I think maybe what we got right here might be the best that we can do. Let's get it spinning. So anyway, there is another Can These 30 Minute Mission Stuff Work With Gunpla Or Not video. These are kind of fun because you know they're going to work with 30 minute missions, but there's a kind of on off, half and half, sometimes works, sometimes does not work kind of symbiosis between 30 minute missions and high grade Gunpla. This one right here is definitely more of a not really working out of box, but with a little bit of intuition, maybe a little bit of modding, there is potential here for your Gunpla, just not as much as I would have hoped there would have been. This is what we get in the end. It definitely looks a little bit on the mysterious side. We've got ourselves a little bit of a aerial repair Exia style. And in the end, it's okay. Not fantastic, but like I mentioned, with a little bit more work, it could look astounding. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you want one of your own, I got mine through Hobby Link Japan. Link in the description. As always, uh, yeah, come back for more Gunpla reviews, and I'll see you next time. As always, this video right here would not have been possible without each and every single one of you guys who watches my videos and all of these awesome people right here who help out on the channel memberships and over on Patreon, including 10 Soldier YT, Abraxas, Caleb Engelhart, Dashiell Marmion, Golel Rockstar, Joe, Lauren Seahack, or G95061, 10 Soldier YT again, and Van Fawn.